Wild fans, please turn your attention to the ice as Anthony LaPanta begins tonight's ceremony. Good evening and welcome to a historic day for the Minnesota Wild franchise. Today, we are all part of a very special moment, the retirement of the second roster number in club history and the first that will honor a player for his career-long contributions to the franchise. Soon, number nine will join number one in the rafters. That number one that original Wild owner Bob Nagley gave to all the fans here who were so instrumental in bringing the NHL back to Minnesota in 2000. The journey for number nine has been unfolding for more than 20 years, since June of 2001 in the National Hockey League draft. That's when all of us here in Minnesota first heard the name Miko Koivu. Let's turn our attention to the video board for a bit more to this story. In a state where hockey reigns supreme, on a team so proud of its humble roots, you'd be hard pressed to find a number more meaningful than this one. And starting at center, the captain, number nine, Nico Koivu. It's a number worn by a man that shaped this organization for over 15 years. And after tonight, it's a number that no wild player will ever wear again. Nico Koivu, where to begin with all the memories? For many wild fans, it was here. Drafted sixth overall in 2001, a kid from Turco, Finland was tasked with helping build a franchise from the ground up. And it didn't take long before Koivu became a household name in the state of hockey. Koivu, straight in, he scores! Koivu's first NHL goal. Miko's the ultimate competitor just because he shows up to work every single day. He had intensity, he had an approach, he had a technique, and he had a, just, just determination. I used to hate him. He used to hate me too. He was tough to play against, you know, always mean mugging. I was scared of those eyes for sure. He treated people with the professionalism that he had, whether it was a teammate or just people around the community. There is no better pick than Miko to be the first Minnesota Wild captain in history. And obviously it's, it's a great honor. I'm proud of it and uh, with all the fans and hockey, how big it is here. And that's a thing that makes it even more special for me. Points, assists, games played. Miko Koivu broke almost every franchise record there was. And then came his 1,000th game. Yet another milestone with a storybook ending. One second remaining, and we've got overtime here. Koivu charges, gets up speed, moves in towards the goal. Now Koivu goes to the back, and he scores! Having a chance to, to play in front of the home crowd, in front of these fans, that means a lot for me and, and my family. The numbers speak for themselves, but the true legacy of number nine cannot simply be measured on a stat sheet. He dedicated a lot of things off the ice, and I know that's been near and dear to him, and it's something that's very respected by all of us. What's up, guys? Miko was the first to support two of the rooms on the fifth floor of our St. Paul Hospital, and Children's Minnesota will always be grateful to him for that. We took a lot of pride in being the face of the franchise, being the first captain. There's no better time to celebrate a, a great, genuine guy than Miko. To the kid from Finland, to the man from Minnesota, here's to you, Miko. Here's to the captain. Here's to number nine. We have some special guests that are joining us here on the ice as we honor Miko tonight. Let's first welcome Miko's His parents, Turi and Yuka, accompanied by Miko's children, Sophie, Casper, and Oscar. Joined by Miko's brother, Saku Koivu, and his daughter, Ilona. <laughs> 
Please welcome a couple of Miko's former teammates who were a big part of Miko's early years here in Minnesota, Nicholas Backstrom and Kyle Brodziak. And representing the Minnesota Wild organization, General Manager Bill Guerin and owner Craig Leopold. Miko Koivu played in 543 regular season and playoff games here at XL Energy Center. He made the walk from the locker room to the ice hundreds of more times for practice. Tonight, he will make that familiar walk one more time. Please welcome the man we honor tonight, the captain, Miko Koivu. Miko is going to take center stage here in just a bit. But before we hear from the man of the hour, we're going to hear from the man who's been heading the franchise for more than a dozen years now. Please welcome to the podium, Wild owner Craig Leopold. Thank you, Anthony. <clears throat> what an incredible moment. I, this, is, this is really inspiring, I think, to everybody and certainly Miko's family and, and everybody that's here, all the players. It's, it's just it's a fantastic evening. I want to first welcome Miko and his family, Yuka, Tire, and of course, Saku. I hope you know that you will always be welcome in your second home in Minnesota. So please come back as often as you like, whenever you like. <laughs> in addition to Nick and Kyle joining us down here on the ice, former GMs Chuck Fletcher and Doug Reisbrar are also here to celebrate this evening. as well as many other Wild alumni who traveled from far and near to share in this event. 
welcome, and thanks to each of you for the memories that you have all brought us to cheer for the wild. As many of our longtime fans probably recall, before we named Miko as a permanent captain, in the early years, we would name new captains every month. This was during Jacques Lemaire's tenure as coach from the beginning through the 2008-2009 season. That 2008-2009 season was my very first full season as the owner of the Wild. As I was thinking about the memories of Miko in preparing these remarks, this memory is the one that really stood out for me. At the first practice each month, Jacques and the coaching staff would reveal the name of the player who would wear the C for that month. I was honored one day to be asked by Jacques Lemaire to reveal to the team who would be the new captain and present the captain's jersey to the player. We practiced that parade over in Minneapolis at that time. The player who I was going to announce as captain was Miko Koivu. So we're there on the ice at parade. All the players and all the coaches are gathered together for what would be the first practice of the month. And after I took the jersey, presented it to Miko with the jersey with the C on it, Miko did a lap around the ice to the cheers and stick taps of his teammates and his coaches. You could really see how much pride Miko had in that moment. And you could also see how much he, at only age 25 at that point, has, had earned his teammates' respect. Less than a year later, in October of 2009, Miko became our full-time captain. Over the next decade, his example of quiet, determined leadership set the standard for our franchise for years to come. Not just when it came to hockey, but also his respectful demeanor with all the fans and all the staff and his generous charitable contributions for which he never sought recognition or attention. Miko, thank you for your leadership on the ice, for your leadership with the team, and for your leadership in the community. You are more than deserving of this honor and no wild player will wear the number nine again. It will forever be displayed as a reminder of your remarkable contributions. Thank you. Thank you very much, Craig. We all have our own great memories of Miko and stories about him throughout the years. But now I'm going to be joined by Wild General Manager Bill Guerin here at the podium. The organization has a few gifts of appreciation to present to Miko. So, Miko, if you could step up here and join us as well. First, Bill is presenting a custom engraved Rolex watch. Next, Nick and Kyle are going to join us.
They're presenting this framed montage of images representing Miko's career with the Wild. And finally, Wild Captain and Assistant Captains Jared Spurgeon, Matt Dumba, and Marcus Foligno are coming up. They've got a retirement gift that we expect Miko will be spending a lot of time with. A full set of PXG Gen 4 golf clubs, including a PXG staff bag with custom embroidery and a private fitting at PXG Minneapolis. Now it's time to hear from our honoree tonight. You're up. <laughs> Please welcome to the microphone, Miko Koivu. It's great to be back here at the XL Energy with all of you. Thank you so much for coming and being part of this very special night. <laughs> Having my jersey number retired by the Minnesota Wild is a greater honor that I know how to say in English or Finnish. And this night has been unbelievable. I have so many great memories of playing in this building and living in the Twin Cities. And it's all because of you and the great people here in Minnesota. Everyone likes to say they have the best fans in the world, but there is only one state of hockey, and you guys really are the best. Right away, I want to thank the Nashville Predators for being part of this night.
Thank you to Bob Nagley Jr. for bringing the NHL back to Minnesota and giving me a chance to play for this organization. We miss you, Bob. Your legacy will live on forever here in the state of hockey. Next, I want to recognize Craig Leopold for his leadership in this organization. Craig, you continued a special environment here for all of us. As players, we couldn't ask for more. This truly is a first-class organization. Thank you for all you have done. Back in 2001, in my draft year, some people thought I might get picked by Montreal, where my brother played. I had no idea Minnesota was interested in me. But when it was Minnesota's time to pick, I remember my dad and I exchanged looks and some words, and we just had a feeling. As destiny would have it, they said my name. It was the best thing that could have happened to me. I had no idea at the time how much this team would come to mean to me. And I'm so grateful and honored to have played here for so long. There are so many people I want to thank tonight. To Craig Leopold, Matt Meika, Bill Guerin, and the entire Wild organization, thank you for letting me share this special experience with so many of my friends and loved ones, including those from Finland who are here tonight. Their friendships mean the world to me. I want to thank all my coaches throughout the years. Everyone made an impact on me, but I do want to give a special thank you to Mr. Jacques Lemaire, who helped me grow so much as a player and as a person. Jacques, you couldn't be here tonight, but I know you're watching from TV. You taught me how to be a professional day in and day out, and what it means to be a team and the importance of a team first mentality. Thank you to Doug Riceborough and Tom Thompson for drafting me back in 2001 and giving me the shot to play here in Minnesota. And to Chuck Fletcher for all you did. It was truly such an incredible honor to serve as the first full-time captain in team history. It was a role I took very serious, some might say too serious, <laughs> but I valued it every day. I also want to thank Jarmo Kekalainen and the Columbus Blue Jackets for giving me one more opportunity to play in this league. I met some of the greatest people there. Thank you to my agent, Don Basley, who is no longer with us, for everything you did for me in my career. We are blessed to have members of his family here with us tonight. I miss you, Don. Thank you to my current agent, Jerry Johansson, and the Sports Corporation for all the support you have shown me in my career and adjusting to life after hockey.
<clears throat> Growing up in Finland, I was lucky to have many coaches and trainers who did so much for me. I want to recognize TPS Turku and Team Finland, led by Mr. Kalervo Kummola, for giving me the opportunity to build my confidence and help me become the player I was. I'm proud to be part of Finnish hockey in the hockey world. I also want to say thank you to all the trainers and support staff here in Minnesota that helped me throughout my career on and off the ice. I know I wasn't always the easiest. I liked my equipment a certain way, but you guys always made it happen. Especially you, Tony. I sometimes don't know how you put up with me, but I am lucky to have you as a friend. Truly to all the staff here with the Wild, Trier Rink, and the Excel Energy Center, our job as players is so much easier because of everything you do. I hope you know how much I appreciate what you did for me and my teammates. Now my teammates, as I thought about all the things I wanted to say tonight, I realized how much I miss hanging out with you every day. Playing with you, pre-game meals, and just being in the locker room. I appreciate so much all the lifelong friendships I made from this great sport and all the memories. This tonight is an honor I share with all of you. There are too many of you to thank by name, but there are two teammates I want to mention tonight. Pavel Dimitra and Derek Bugard. We miss you guys. None of this would have been possible without the support and love from my family. I want to thank my parents, Jukka and Tuire. You have always been there for me and let me grow up in a safe and loving environment. You always supported me in hockey, but more importantly, you taught me to live with strong values and principles, no matter what life brings. I am so blessed to have your support each and every day. Kiitos, Aiti Aisa, rakastan teitä. Thank you to my brother Saku for being such a strong, strong role model in hockey and in life. I'm so lucky to have been able to grow up with you. You continue to be a great inspiration to me. A little brother can't ask for more. Thank you for everything. And to my three children, you are the greatest gift in my life.
My youngest Oscar, you light up every room you're in. <laughs> Casper, you have such a caring and good heart, and thank you for letting me be your coach. And my beautiful, loving Sophie, you are such a good role model for your two brothers, and you are so, so special to me. Hockey has been a huge part of my life, but those who know me well know there is nothing I value more, work harder, or I'm more proud of than my kids. I love you all. I am so grateful I was blessed to be able to make the sport of hockey my career and to have been surrounded by so many amazing people along the way. I feel so humbled to be standing here. Thank you to everyone who has made this journey possible. If I haven't said it enough, I truly love this organization and the state of Minnesota. I will continue to support this great community as best I can, especially everyone at Children's Minnesota. To all the fans here tonight and throughout the state of hockey, I can't express enough how much you mean to me and my family. You've supported me throughout my career, through the wins and losses, ups and downs, and you made me feel like one of your own. You will always have a place in my heart. Thank you, and I love you all. Now it's time for the banner to be raised. No one will ever again wear number nine for the wild. So Miko and family, could you please make your way across the stage to the banner?
Congratulations once again, Miko. Thank you all for being part of a special night here in St. Paul tonight. This concludes our banner raising ceremony. Now it's time for hockey. Let's see the boys take down the Preds tonight. Let's go wild. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time for the captain, number nine, Miko Carbo. night a well-deserved honor for Miko Koivu number nine finding its new permanent home above the ice inside the XL Energy Center the Wild look to make it an even more memorable night with a win over a division foe we preview the game with Nashville next on Wild Live